Okay, turbulence. So, there's a lot of things that come with turbulence. One, what is it and how do you kind of feel how, what is turbulence? What does it feel like? Turbulence, typically you'll be flying and all of a sudden you feel the glider kind of unload. It goes light, all of a sudden it feels like you're falling out of the sky. Let's say the right side unloads, you go, whoa, you kind of fall out of the sky. Well, how exactly do you correct for turbulence? How do you handle turbulence so that you're comfortable? First off, let me reiterate this. This is, you do not learn to counter turbulence and fly in turbulence by flying in turbulence. You don't learn to correct flying in turbulence by flying in turbulence. You learn that skill on the ground and it carries directly over to the sky. Again, do not try and learn how to fly through turbulence in turbulence. So, let's talk about turbulence. Let's talk about it. How do you correct it? Well, in turbulence, the number one thing you want to do is keep the glider open and keep the glider above you. The glider's going to want to go this way, it's going to want to go that way, in front of you, behind you, it's going to want to do all of these things. It's going to unload, load. It's your job to keep the glider above you. Uh, let's say it shoots that way. It shoots off over to your right. Well, immediately you should pull some left brake to bring it back above you and then right brake to stop it above you. It shoots to the left, you pull right brake bring it back, left brake to stop it above you. It shoots forward, you get into both brakes. You wanna bring it back above you. You don't wanna stall it, you don't wanna spin it, so you don't wanna like stop way too hard, but you wanna get into both of those brakes to bring it back above you. Let's say it goes behind you, you throw your hands up. Let's say it shoots forward after you do that, back into both brakes. It's your job to keep it above you. Let's say the right side unloads, it goes light. Oh, it's a very distinct feeling, all of a sudden you're flying, you're flying, it goes whoa, just like that, it just drops you. Immediately you drop into the brakes. You immediately drop into the side that unloaded because that glider is trying to shoot forward and by pulling the brake, you pull it back, uh, back and level it back off. So you don't want to let it shoot forward or it will collapse. Uh, and so as soon as you feel it, you get bit into those brakes. You stop it from overflying you. Again, it falls to the left, right brake to bring it back above you, left brake to stop it. Falls to the right, left brake to bring it above you, right brake to stop it. It unloads both brakes. You want to stop it from unloading. You want to keep it loaded. Falls behind you, hands up. Now, let me reiterate this again. This is not a skill set you learn in the sky. This is a skill set you learn on the ground through practice, repetition, and experiencing collapses for yourself. Because they're kiting on the ground, your buddy comes over, he yanks your ace. All of a sudden the whole thing unloads. Well, now you know what it feels like for the glider to go limp. Now you immediately know how to drop your hands, move backwards, reload the glider. It's all about keeping that glider loaded. He comes over, he does it again. Immediately you recognize the feeling, your hands drop, you keep it from even collapsing. It's a skill set you learn on the ground. At Super Training, this is one of the biggest things that we work on. We actually teach you how to handle and control that glider in real world situations. We don't just give you the foo-foo stuff. We don't just tell you you're doing a good job. We throw you into the real world situations. We cause collapses. We, we shove you under the glider unloading it. We do all of these things to put you out of your comfort zone, to put you in real world situations where you have to keep control. And through repetition, practice, muscle memory, reflexes, that's how you learn how to fly a paraglider. That's how you learn how to fly a paramotor. In the air, if you learn and come through and you build that skill set, once you get in the air, if you encounter turbulence, you don't even have to think about what you're doing. Your body instinctually does it. And then afterwards, you're like, whoa, I just corrected for that turbulence and I didn't even realize it. Uh, and so that's one thing that I will reiterate again. You learn this skill set on the ground. If you have not gotten a lot of glider control practice, you've not spent a lot of time on the ground controlling that paraglider in every situation, because it's not just getting it up, getting it under control, turning it going. It's getting it up when all of a sudden it shoots up way faster than normal, tries to overfly you, shoots off this way, and immediately recovering it, bringing it back under control. It's about learning how to keep the glider in control, in random, spontaneous, out of control situations. You want to make sure that when shit hits the fan, you know what you're doing. And that's you get through repetition. And that's what we teach at Super Training. If you want to learn more about how to fly a paramotor, how to fly a paraglider, and truly master the skill set, come through Super Training. Give us a call at 800-707-2525. Speak directly with the real person, ask questions, get answers, and uh, let's go flying.